Hey guys, welcome back to Jill's Comfort Zone, Jill's Comfort Zone, Jill's Comfort Zone. Hey, what's up, what's up, what's up? If you're new here, pull up a seat, come and join us, click that subscribe button right down there and turn it great if your heart feels to join me. If not, maybe next time, take a look around and see if you like, if you like what you see. Then come on the board. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can be reminded of when I am coming to you with a new video. Welcome to the premiere at Jill's Comfort Zone. All right? It's always a blessing to see you guys. Tonight, getting into the video, what we are having is some red snappers. Okay? So they are going to be stuffed red snappers. So stay tuned. I'm going to meet you over here at the counter and let's get into these ingredients that we will be using. So I'll be right back, guys. Don't forget to like, share, comment down below because you know your girl love conversing with you all. Let me know what you'd like to see next on Jill's Comfort Zone. You can always hit me up on my IG. All right. So I'll join you over here. Be back in a moment. Mm, 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 mm. Welcome back, guys, guys, guys. All right, let's get into it. This is the ingredients that we will be using tonight. All right. Yes. So I'm going to start off with the dry ingredients and work our way to the front. All right. So I have some dry thyme and some uh, dried fennel that I ground it up in here. So we will be using that. And then I have some smoked paprika, ground turmeric, uh, garlic powder, onion powder, herbs de Provence, some red crushed pepper flakes. I have some parsley flakes, some Himalayan salt, ground cumin, complete seasoning. I have that old Walker's wood jerk seasoning mouth sauce. Uh, I have some uh, peppercorns here, black peppercorns there that we're going to use. All uh, right, and I have some jerk seasoning straight from Jamaica, baby. That my little bro, Adrian, um, cooking and food reviews have brought to me. Thank you, bro. Thank you so much. All right, so that's what the dry ingredients. Let's move on to here, what we have here, what I'm going to stuff these lovely red snappers okay they are huge ain't they yes so i had the butcher slitch um at the um fish place i had them slit them down a little bit and clean it out i brought them we cleaned them we scaled them they scaled them there but listen we all know that there is still scales on the fish okay Yes, even though they said they clean them. So clean your fish. Okay, please do that. Um, I had them remove the eyes from out of the heads. We are going to stuff these lovely red snappers. Oh my goodness. But yeah, so we have cleaned them, wiped them down, washed them down with some nice old vinegar. Um, so what we're stuffing these with, we got some red, yellow, orange, green, peppers okay then we're gonna have some whole garlics we're stuffing those with i'm gonna slice some of these uh cherry great tomatoes slice those in those are going to go in there with that i am going to also cut up some night some onion yellow onion that's going to go in there as well we have some spinach that they're going to be stuffed with and then i am going to finally slice some cabbage so that's the stuffing for our for our lovely red snappers, okay? So let's move on with the fresh herbs, okay? So what we're using is oregano, basil, and some parsley. We're going to mince these up. We're using some green onions as well. That is going to all go into a nice little marinade with some oil. And I'm going to rub this down. Rub them down with some olive oil, which I have back here, that we're going to rub these down before we start seasoning them really well. Okay? I have some ground, I have some ginger, fresh ginger here, ginger root. 
which I am going to shave some of that off to build our base into our um, seasoning mix, okay? And we have, I said whole garlic. I have some lemon here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to rub. I have extra lemon in the fridge too. So I'm going to rub these red snappers down with some lemon juice to set it off. And we're going to bake these in the oven. Stuff with all this yumminess for about, uh, I would say about 30 minutes to, um, 30 minutes to 45 minutes. Then they're going to go under the broiler. So we're going to bake these at 350 fa uh, degrees Fahrenheit and then let them rock out. And then we're going to just unfold them and then let the broil broiler do its thing. So I will be back shortly to show you the rest of this mix up. Hey guys, I know he's upside down. <laughs> Ooh, these are so huge, guys. So are you guys ready for some red snappers? Stuff red snappers, guys, is going down at Jill's Comfort Zone. We're making jerk stuff red snappers tonight. Don't read my lips. <laughs> All right, guys. So stay tuned because we are coming near you. Welcome back, guys. What's up? So, let's get these babies oiled up. <clears throat> okay. And then we're going to start going in with our seasonings. Okay. So, we want to get it coated. Oops. I'm going all crazy with it. Sorry. So, we're going to get in here. So they already been wiped down with the they already been um, wiped down guys with the lemon okay so I'm just coating this with oil we're gonna coat each side with the oil I'm not even gonna coat the insides okay because what's going to happen is our cabbage and veggies and onions and all that good stuff is going to have oil already mixed in it. And I probably can go ahead and add a little bit. Extra virgin olive oil is not going to hurt you. Okay? So we want some flavors. I'm a pep. I'm a pepper freak. So let's get that pepper flavor really going on here okay i don't know my ground this sound like it's tied <laughs> okay so i would say for these babies let's do a teaspoon of each but we're talking about a teaspoon of each that's going to coat each side in the insides okay or like so you know i measurements is never my thing but that's what it is. So that's the cumin. And we're going to just go like so. All right? So you already seen that side. So I don't need to show you the whole effect of me doing all the seasoning. That just take up time. I'll show you what they look like when I'm done. All right? So I will be back when I finish with seasoning one side. All right, so this is the one side of the fish. They are nicely coated, and we're just going to rub, but dub dub, getting the coatings. And I hear you see I'm coming with some more olive oil because I want these seasonings to stick. <laughs> yes. So I want them to stick to this baby. Okay. Dodge it in, pick up, don't be afraid, don't be afraid, baby. And I just put more oil. I want my seasonings to stick to my fish. So, 
Give him a bath, baby. Rub it. Rub it and don't be scared, okay? And you know what I did? I forgot one thing. Excuse me. Sorry for crossing. I know better. And I know you're supposed to put slits. That way, the seasoning, when it's baked, and don't go too far. Because remember, we're stuffing these babies. So you don't want to mess up that skin. You still want to have a nice... We're going to put cuts. These are large fish. So I'm going to put three. This one could get another one too. And I want all those flavors to go in there. So I done forgot and screwed up the first step. So the first step <laughs> is to make sure you slice your fish. Get the slits in there just slightly just to... to Get those flavors so when all of this start baking in there and getting it all, mmm, chow. So y'all follow me? Good. Okay, there's nothing to it. I'm going to lay these right, but right now I just want to get these coated with the oil. Get the slits down in there. You know when you come on the channel, you get, I get a little nervous for y'all. Because I want to make sure that I'm perfect in perfecting this thing, you know. And I want to make sure you guys got the right picture of what I'm doing. And that you do this gracefully and correctly. Okay? So, just little slits. Little slits. Because I want the flesh to get... Every bit of what I'm giving to this lovely dish. I'm all ashy here yeah, because I've been washing my hands, guys, and elbows, dealing with all this fish and stuff. So, you know. And I have to be careful because I'm allergic to shellfish, but I don't never want to think or take for granted that I may. My spray bottle empty, and I don't have time to be keep spraying this, so we're going to do like so, okay? And for the seasoning in the inside of this, trust me, I'm going to just come with that later. Because it's going to be so much seasoning on this for you that that's all I need is to grab from this for you to rub my insides with, okay? All right, so I'm just going to season this like I did the first Whoa, see, see what I told you? These fins. And I got this red pepper stuff on here too. Ciao. So I'm going to get this side seasoning. I'm going to season up the inside. Then I'm going to come back and show y'all how I am going to get these babies stuffed and ready for the oven. Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Let's build these flavors, okay? So I'm going to put... Two teaspoons in here, okay? Two teaspoons. This is going to spread over real nicely, okay? So, I'm going to put two teaspoons of the jerk seasoning in there. Then, I'm coming with a little basil. Oregano. Sorry, I should have had all this over here. I apologize. Parsley. Okay. That's just water dripping off the bottom of it. Okay, so that's the jerk seasoning um, that I am going to put into this. And I am going to also spin it with a little bit of garlic powder, just a little bit. And hold on one second, guys. One second, one second. I know I have fresh. Okay. I know I do have fresh garlic that is going into this mixture here. So we got spinach. We have spinach. We have, um, it's getting all wet. Red, you know, the peppers and um, all that good stuff. I'm about to put the pack. Excuse me, the cabbage in here. I'm going to season this baby all up with some delicious flavors. And then we're going to get to stuffing, okay? This is going to go down once I 
I'm going to brush this mixture on the top. And of course, I want to get some of that garlic juices out of here and add in there too, okay? This is just me, baby. Okay? <laughs> Y'all with me? Okay, great. Hope I'm not losing you guys. Okay? I don't want to lose nobody in the kitchen. In the kitchen. I'm going to hit this with a little bit of complete seasoning as well in here. Okay, and I am going to come with a little bit of dry jerk seasoning as well. Adrian, thank you. The seasoning smells delicious. I I must tell you, it smells so delicious. Okay. We're going to hit it with that. Sorry for covering the camera once again. And like I said, I'm just going to come with a little bit of this Himalayan salt. Okay, just to give it a little bit. And I'm going to hit it with a little bit of onion powder. Just a mixture. All right, then I'm going to come over here and we're going to squeeze a juice of a lemon in here. Okay? All right, ciao. Yes. This is what I'm talking about. Oop, wrong way. <laughs> Right, so I'm gonna blend some of this up. Juice of a lemon in there. All right, there we go. For that, then I'm just gonna mix all of this up in here. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, and I forgot one more thing. Can't forget this. We're going to sprinkle a little bit of this extra virgin olive oil in there. Okay. Y'all still with me? And because I love thyme, thyme and fennel up in there, I don't need any more pepper because trust me, this jerk seasoning is going to bring the heat. But that lemon. Mm, mm, mm. So that's my mixture. Y'all saw what I just did, right? All right. Glad you're following me. Let me see if I can squeeze just a little bit more. <laughs> there you go. A little bit more. <laughs> yes. All right. But now I'm going to get a Luma foil. Out, because we're gonna wrap these babies up after we start stuffing them. But I'm gonna move on to the next step. Now, that's my mixture, and I'm gonna set this back here. So I'm gonna grease some Luma foil up with some butter. Then we're gonna wrap these up after we stuff them. Okay. We're also going to hit this with some um, olive oil. So you're going to season your veggies with the same seasoning that you put on the fish, except for the jerk seasoning, okay? And plus, you're going to add some red crushed pepper flakes. And you're going to use about half a teaspoon of each and then salt and pepper just to taste. Only use a sprinkle of the red pepper flakes. And then we also going to come with, these are our veggies, some herbs, same herbs I mentioned. Parsley, basil. Oregano, okay? Hold on. Wait a second. Just a little bit though, guys. We don't need too much of, we don't need too much of the Lemon juice. I'm hitting it just with a little bit, okay? A little bit. Okay. Just to give it a little. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm back. So, 
Yeah, technical difficulties knocked you off. I'm just mixing in all of our delicious veggies. And then we're going to start stuffing them in a moment. So I will be back with the rest of this beautiful dish. We got everything seasoned and looking nice. Yummy. All right, y'all, I'm back. This butter should have been <laughs> semi-melted. Okay. <clears throat> and this is so our fish won't stick. Okay. So, we're about to get to stuffing. But before I begin stuffing, this is what we're about to do. So, I'm going to come in here, get some of the mixture that I had with this jerk seasoning, and put it like so. So now because I cut holes and I want that to go in there, okay? I'm slut, I mean, slit the fish. So I want the, those this to really go throughout the fish and down in the crevices, okay? I want to make sure this is going up into the fish okay okay guys bear with me we, we hustling we hustling we got this <laughs> I'm hustling hustling baby I just want you to know so it's okay it's all good so I'm gonna take all this delicious flavors and let's start pulling them it's okay I want to stuff, and it's okay if it's falling out. I'm good. I want all of the flavors, all of the veggies, the red pepper, green pepper, yellow pepper. We want all that stuff in here. Okay? Mm-hmm. All right, so this is how we stuff in our fish and then come out looking nice and pretty. So, all right, there's one. That's one, right? Flip that baby over. That's done. And all those seasonings Trust me, it's in there. Lovely. It's come with the jerk. And I gotta be careful because that thing, the fin, uh, the things done poke me. So I'm gonna go in here like that. This is all I want these in the crevices here. Okay? You see what I'm doing? The mixture that I made. I want it in there. Like so. Okay? And so instead of the juices trying to escape, it's not. Okay? It's going to be locked in all up in here. And it's going to seep right in there through there. So that's why I have that like that. If my lovely assistant could come help me out, I would love, love, love you to do that. Oops, I'm back. <laughs> now, you don't need too much of this, I told you. So I'm gathering all of these seasonings off of this pan that I have here. I'm rubbing it. I'm making sure it's in the inside of there. Okay, let's jerk. Mix. I made just enough. Just enough for the fish. Or for the fish. Guys, when I tell you this is about to be fire and delicious, I just want to make sure it is down in the slits that I inserted into this fish. Yes. Because we want every piece of this fish 
to be flavorful. I forgot to put garlic in the first one, so we're going to kind of... Because I want that garlic to flow through here, even though we got the garlic going in there. That is so... So three pieces of this garlic should be good in there, right? Stuff of veggies back in here. Yes. Guys, listen. I can't wait to taste all of these flavors up in here. Get it nice and brown. And especially when you put it under that broiler, baby. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. This is going to be a dish that you need in your life. So fold, just to make sure the ends are right. I was going to leave the top open and put more veggies on the top, but these are going under the broiler, so that's a no-no. So as you can see, it looks so delicious. It's ready. I'm just gonna fold this over here like so. Because we're going to end up opening these babies up anyway. And close it like that. Put it in the oven. 350 degrees and let them rock out. Okay. Same thing with this one. So I got to make room for this um, to sit up on here properly. I don't want any of this stuff dripping in my oven. We're going to drop this in the oven, and I'll be back to show you the finished product. I'm going to put the rest of the veggies probably in a foil and just let it cook. I'll be back. Hey, guys. So, the porgies are just pulled out of the broiler. That one head tried to come loose. <laughs> it did come loose, but mm 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 you see all that jerk seasoning on there. You see? Okay. Nice. All right, guys. It's time to eat. Under the brawler, everything is just looking so delicious. Stay tuned for part two in the mukbang. Thank you guys for coming. I hope you enjoyed the premiere. Don't forget to like, share, comment down below, and let me know what you think about this video. And don't forget to subscribe. Hit that subscribe button and turn mm -hmm. it gray. Mm -hmm. And hit that notification mm -hmm. bell so you can be notified when I am coming. As I always say, stay blessed. I love you. Keep watching all the videos.